have read the consent form, which is used by many of the clinics in the US. It says that there are no known risks. That is true, but the problem is the significance of the word known. They don't understand that the reason the word known is in there is because nobody has ever looked into it. I don't want other mothers to have to go through what I've been through. I don't want other egg donors to die. Jessica was at Stanford when she saw an ad seeking students to donate their eggs. She called me up and asked me about it. She said, I want to be more independent and I don't want to always have to ask you for money. And I said, well, my main concern is, is it safe? This was in April 2002, so she died a year after that. I certainly will never forget that day that I found out that she had colon cancer. I had given that to her. She was 29 years old. And then um, I knew that this was not going to have a happy outcome. That's the trouble with being, you know, <laughs> a doctor and getting that kind of news. Oh, this was, this was funny. She's showing me her scar. I had put a kiss on there. So this was just like um, eight months or so before her death. I would try not to cry when she was around. I did a lot of crying. Yeah, I like that picture of Jessica and me. The rest of the time, and even now, it's been 13 years before we start talking about it. I often wondered, because there was no family history of colon cancer, and, and 29 is unusually young for colon cancer. I came across a publication, a case history, about a young woman who had donated eggs and five or six years later was diagnosed with metastatic colon cancer. And I said, wow, this sounds just like Jessica. When I read that article, I decided to become educated in this field. That was when I realized that in the U.S., egg donors are anonymous. They're not kept track of. There's no egg donor registry there is, the way there is for every other organ donation. That's what I found out. Eventually, I wrote an article about Jessica's diagnosis and death to encourage the doctors who are in reproductive medicine to set up an egg donor registry hopeful that that would result in actually setting up a registry. That was in 2008, and in 2017, nothing has changed. least I can do to honor Jessica is to work towards creating a situation where fewer young women are put at risk, assuming that this is a risk, which we don't even know, and that's exactly why we need to do the research. I don't know for sure if the reason that Jessica got colon cancer is the hormone stimulation but I think it's a very real possibility. It's gotta be investigated. I'm glad that I had her for as long as I did. I think of what her life would have been like 
if she had had another 30 years, 40 years to go. People don't realize you don't ever get over this. You never get over this.